first impression is like a very calming, um, grounding image with like with the um, the roots of the pines. That metaphor. What nature and how it triggers you to think inward onto yourself. So the first line is, this land like a mirror turns you inward. So I think the poem is really about reflection and the human connection to nature. I think the poem is about an explorer and his mentality um, as he's exploring the forest. And he kind of has a bad attitude because he doesn't seem to want to appreciate beauty, maybe, because of the line. Explore, you tell yourself this is not what you came for. So maybe he's trying to, like, ignore some part of the forest. This poem is very much a product of the Canadian landscape, and it's it would be a different poem, for example, if Gwendolyn McEwen happened to live in the tropics. Her imagination as a poet would be um, informed by totally different kinds of landscape. Landscape doesn't make you feel bigger when you're out there alone. It makes you feel smaller. That at a certain point, you turn inward. You don't turn outward. It really seems depressing and gloomy with kind of a, not a lot of hope. But maybe think, maybe think of nature and how, you know, you don't necessarily look for anything spiritual. It's just, you know, when something dies, it decays, and that's that. And that's neither good nor bad. It just sort of is. It kind of paints a picture of, like, your mind as a sanctuary, which I'm not used to. You came down there for, originally, to find some sort of hatred, and all you can find is compassion. Um, and as you sink deeper, you know that it's not even just your compassion that uh, that you wanted to that you want to give someone, it's, um, it's also your understanding. <laughs>